techniques. No nagewaza, no katamewaza, uh, nothing like that. We're only talking about the So when you're working with your people, remember to tell them what's connected to what <coughs> and how to receive that and process that back because we're not going to just stand here like that. When you go to put that in, I'm going to take you to. You feel? My knees were slightly bent. And now what was once you put in course there is where I'm Right. And I keep my back straight, my shoulders down. Another important key is to not bring your shoulders in. Remember the other video where you're talking about using the kicks telegraphs? If, if you telegraph the kicks, if you bring your upper body into it, well, we move the whole body to the unit. So we don't segregate the upper and lower body. So when, when, you, when you try, now try another uh, position. See? See, you're putting it where now? You're bringing it this way. You're the process of here. And then I find out where you happen to be. And we're not talking about a joint body. So we're not talking about a joint body. We're talking about just when you create that kind of force against my body. You see what I'm saying? So it's two structures interconnecting. I just got to be able to recognize and read where you're putting that from. And not allow what you're doing to be processed through your agenda on my body. You're, you want to lean my weight maybe to one leg and, and post me up so that you can throw me. Instead, I process that through my body. If you grab both my wrist here, and this is... You see? Now, where do you feel this in? This here is through here. See? So, it's not so much that I'm leading with my technique but when you bring force in the body, I receive it, I process it, and it goes back. But it's not some mystical thing. You see? It's this, yes. so this hand is connected to this foot. So, no matter what you see me doing with my hand, it's not, it's not, watch, I'll do it without my body making it. I can do that all day, but see, connecting everything to the elbow. Same thing. So I'm not segregating the movement. This isn't a kawaza. This is a, a, a whole body movement. And I'm only using my fingertips because I'm not generating my force. From here, that would be ridiculous. Now I'm going to do it incorrectly and just use my hands. See? Now you can move with me. But if you can't read where that's coming from, if you can't read where that's coming from, then it's different. So you want to mobile and relax the center but structure. If you grab my shoulder here. This is, our, this is our point of contact. If you push in, I can receive that like this, or I can receive it here. Push. Does that make sense? Now, if you bring that in here, my knees are bent when you press. Relax. I'm going to grab you any way that I will. That feels like a short run, yeah? But it's not. So, anytime you see me move, my hands are up like this, you just have to grab my wrist. That's non standard. Uh, most martial arts don't do this. Now, depending on the type of force that you want to use, you can pull, push, you can just want to pin my hands down. But what I'm not doing is segregating my arm from my lower body, quite the opposite. If you would pull, I use. And we're not talking about anything. Does that make 
sense? So it's one unit. So maybe in previous training you learned to segregate everything. With this you want to keep your shoulders down and relax. Don't let your shoulders come into the technique too much. Because one, it's too rest and too structurally, it's not good. So you'll know, often see the elbows down as opposed to out in a lot of things. When you grab, and I do that, because my shoulders really aren't coming in, in the back. Yeah. No matter which way that we move, because it's, it's got to be on contact. So that heavy hands that we were discussing. The term that we use, heavy hands, uh, and I started giving you Japanese terms for everything. Don't worry about that right now. All that means in heavy hands to us is that my arms and my hands are connected to the rest of my structure. So when I put them into use, it's not just this. The heavy hands, uh, if you hear that term, can be quite conflicting. A lot of times I'll find my form up to yours. You see? So it is not my hand at all. It's here. That's that freeze. Let me go. So, try to get... Think of Kenjutsu. We discussed Kenjutsu. That is another math. So, it has very little to do with me leading with my technique. So, you have your, you have your waza. Your kata waza, your forms and your, your techniques. Then you have the uh, the, you know, again, the, 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 the principles, the Then you have tanma, which is your forging. That's very important. And this stuff is all over. It's not just the ITR speaking that you very well. Uh, system is a Russian system, I told you. I'll watch a few videos on that. It, it seems to be uh, a different type of movement. It's actually very similar. It's just expressed differently in mission. Oh, okay. So the heavy hands has to do with my arms being connected to the rest of my structure. You feel? Look, I'm not moving my body. Now, I can do better when you put more force. See, now that's force. Now I'm not going to connect to my body, just my arms. Don't let me move my arms. See, that's different because it's a segregated movement. Now watch. You'll feel something different. And, and then I want you to tell me what you feel. You don't feel my hand, do you? process it the way that we're discussing it. So if you happen to put pressure here, remember I'm going to come down here. And that point of contact is very important. But I can change the feel of that, you see? It doesn't matter where where that is. And we're not swinging it. We're quite the contrary. We're not swinging The first part, this work When you grab me, I do not want to swing this. I want to process that. Grab hard. I want to process that. You see? And if you notice, my arm is very relaxed. So, what do my hands feel like? They should feel very heavy, but it's not just my arm. But if you have someone feel my arm when I'm doing a technique, I really don't put, put too much there. 
So some drills that you do are heavy hand drills that you that you see me do a little bit. Step forward. So practice touching and connecting, and have someone press against you and push with great force to try to ball you over. But if you keep those shoulders down and your knees slightly bent and understand receiving that, naname, and you press forward, learn to feel that through your process. What do you feel? See? And then it's up to you to change. You can change things. Stand up. With all your force, stand up. But see, now, if you go to stand up, I'm not going to stand here doing this, but process that through. See? We're not talking about waza. I'm not, I'm not talking about koshinage, shibanage, uh, 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 no, nothing like that. We're not talking about technique at all. What we're talking about is not being heavy with the joint. See, and there's a joint lock. But it looks like it's barely there. And you want it in that contact. So if someone takes their hand and pushes the chest like this, you don't want to uh, uh, get into a tug of war here. So what I'll do is cross this down. Now I'm going to show this. In here, you learn the force of crossing. That makes sense. So, but, but you fell a lot. But I wasn't. It wasn't really my goal. I mean, there's a lot of good. I'm not. I'm not focusing on technique. I'm not focusing on technique. So, you have to understand recognizing the force. First of all, it doesn't do any good if you recognize the force after it's already hit you in the jaw. So you want to learn to maneuver with that when, when you get a mess, you start to feel that. That makes sense? You use both arms and you learn. See, watching really you can't tell you what you think. It's, it's what you're feeling. Yeah. Did you feel me open my hip? A, a collapse of what? That's it. So you want to feel that. But what you don't want to do this is get one side of power. I don't want to come here and I just come here and put all my weight in one direction. I want to I want to be able to come anywhere. These techniques require ko ashiha, small stepping techniques or mu uh, ashiha. Uh, no. No, no, I take quicker. <laughs> and you're familiar with these rocks. We're just talking about a different concept. Then it reaches your full potential when you're playing. Some, someone tries something like And I'm not giving technical examples. So when you're doing a technical it's not sacred. So, what power in your hands is the whole structure. So, uh, when, whatever the connection is, if I, if, I, if I come here and I connect to this, I want to go to the spine. Not to, I mean, finger locks is good, but. Okay, next